Guys, what's up? Thank you, will be fine. Today I'll be showing you how to make a nice thumbnail for YouTube videos like this one. This is made by me. So let's get right into the video. First of all, let's get the things we need. We will be needing some logos and I'll need a YouTube logo and always be sure to put PNG at the last so you get a background free image for your Photoshop. That will be very much easy. Now to save this. I have already saved this but you need to save this and it is an important logo for our thumbnail project. Next, with the cursor hand, be sure to type PNG again so you get a background free image and I have already saved so I'm not saving this and we need a background so go to Google and search for abstract background and you'll get a few results. I like this one so I'm choosing this one. You can choose as you like. I've already saved this so I'm not saving right now. Open up your Photoshop, double click or press Ctrl O, open up your background image. I'm clicking my background image that is this one and click ok and once you've gotten the background image press ctrl j and copy the layer and delete the old layer that is a logged one now once you've got this layer press ctrl n then this will open up a pop-up and be sure to make it with 1280 pixels and hide the 720 pixels because that is the recommended size by youtube for its thumbnail click ok and press again ctrl j for copying the layer remove the old layer by pressing delete then get to the background, drag the background from there to the untitled one and paste it here. And then we need to make it into perfect order. So first of all, drag it, uh, scale it up a bit and make and fit it to the size. And once you've done that, it is where it looks really nice and good and gorgeous. So after that, go click filters, click blur. You need to blur this a bit for a nice effects. So go to the blur option up there in the filter category. Once you've gone there, you'll get a bit of results. Click Gaussian blur and make it to 5.0 pixels. That will be really helpful helpful for you. Click OK and this is a really nice background with the blur and I like this. Now for the logos, click Control O, open the file. Now open the cursor YouTube logo file. I'm opening the cursor image. As you can see, it's a background free PNG image. Then open the YouTube logo. Once you have done that, drag the YouTube logo to the untitled one. Click the drag icon and move the YouTube icon to the untitled one and place it to wherever you want or place as I'm placing. Again to the cursor, dragging it to the untitled one, and here we are. This is a bit very big, so press Ctrl minus and scale it to the size that we want of the cursor now descale it a bit make it a bit low make its resolution a bit low what i mean is make it low scale it a bit low once you've done that click right and then press again Control plus once done again you can make it a bit more small in size and rotate it i'm tilting it a bit for a nice texture now make it a bit more small and then drag it to the place that you want and it looks really nice the cursor at the youtube logo play button once done and arrange will be need text so press t or click the text icon from the side left panel and make the size as 144.3 and that is strong and bold and the text font is arial and the color is white type easy and press ok once done we'll be making another text and so it'll create new layers for every text press custom type custom what i mean and press enter once done again we'll be writing thumbnail so write thumbnail as you can see the thumbnail is a bit on the cursor so we'll be moving the cursor hand click the drag icon and then go to the cursor and move the cursor a bit so we can scale thumbnail once done go to thumbnail and move it a bit up using the drag icon and get the custom a bit down for a nice looking effect because and make the custom a bit uh, make it make the custom to the side panel to the side because we're getting this lens flare at the center and we don't want that to come into a custom font once done with that arrange the thumbnail a bit up to the custom and then according to the size once done click the easy layer and move it a bit down so it looks really nice and customative and really good 
and move custom a bit up and uh, let's uh, move thumbnail and easy to the sides so they look good so I need to move easy in thumbnail so thumbnail click on the lay thumbnail layer and move it to the side and easy again and then move easy to the side sorry move easy to the side okay that doesn't look really good let's undo that and make easy again to that size move the thumbnail again to its back position and easy again to its back position it looks really nice once done click on easy and click FX and then click outer glow it'll open a pop-up make sure outer glow is checked and I uh, went done when done click the blend mode as select the blend mode as normal and the color will be choosing a bit really good that I'm choosing a red color you can choose wh whatever you want let's make the technique to precise and contour to this double ring sorry just a contour to ring and make the size a bit bigger so it looks really nice and catchy in the eyes of the CE beholder and then spread it we're making the technique softer so it looks really nice spread a bit make the spread as 10 and size 13 click OK once done click on custom FX now to glow this will open up a pop-up now we'll choose a color we'll choose the color for this a bit pink a light pink and a dark pink mixed so that will really give the glow once done select the blend mode as normal the technique is precise and the contour sorry and the contour as double that will really look nice make the size a bit bigger and set the size to 13 and it looks looks so nice and cashy starting now click OK and you can make the opacity to as much as you want I'm setting it to 71 and click OK when it's done and then click on the thumbnail double click and this will open up this blending options you have to click outer glow you can go outer glow from here or that that's the same thing click on the outer glow and we'll be choosing a color for here choose the color and I'll be choosing a light blue sky type color which will look really good once got the color click OK and make the contour sorry uh, make the contour to double and then make the technique as precise no let's be softer and the size it's as 16 that looks really nice and cashy in my eyes once done press OK and it looks so nice and cashy now once done move easy a bit up and that sets all the things as you can see it looking so nice press ctrl shift s for saving this choose a format as png and from the dot where the png is there remove the untitled one and click custom thumbnail or rename it to whatever you want and press save and browse to your location uh, or and browse to your location and you are well very well done and this video was all about this click ok thanks for watching share this video with everyone and i'm deselecting it so it looks really nice as you can see wow this thumbnail is just amazing it looks so so good thank you for watching my video let's see you in the next video and hope you like be the part of the family subscribe like and share your friends family and i'll be seeing you in the next video i'm crazy computer signing out thank you